Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, man, got another great video for you guys today, as usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, we must continue to set the record straight, stop the lies, stop the narratives, stop them from rewriting the history, and in this video, we're going to talk about LeBron James and these flimsy workouts that he does, man, we're going to focus on LeBron James's training in this video, because I'm not impressed with his training, and once again, his training or lack of training is exposes him as to why he never plays 82 games, right? So when they say that LeBron James spent uh, LeBron James spends millions on his body, I question where that money's going. This way he gets exposed because to me, the training that he does should not cost millions of dollars. Once again, what are we talking about here for LeBron James? We're gonna focus on this in, the, in this video, guys, because I'm not impressed with LeBron James training. And to me, once again, LeBron James does a lot of fluff workouts and that exposes him. We're going to talk about it, guys. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel, guys. Once again, I am truly, truly humbled by all the support, guys. Truly humbled. It means a lot. All the real basketball fans, man, the true basketball fans are standing up. We won't allow them to rewrite the history to bend reality and continue to tear down the past errors. We must continue to put some respect on these guys. So thank you to all you guys out there. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So yes, guys, like I said, listen, many times on this channel, I've talked to you guys about LeBron James and the millions of dollars that he spends on his body. And I told you, LeBron James spends millions on his body, but he spends pennies on his game. But when you look into the quote-unquote workouts that LeBron James does... To me, it's all fluff. It's all fluff workouts. And in the thumbnail of this video is one of those very workouts, one of those fluff workouts. He's holding these kettlebells with another kettlebell on top of it, and he's holding them by the handles, and he's balancing himself on one of those Bosu balls. It's a damn joke, man. It's an absolute joke. These workouts are a joke. I don't know who LeBron James' trainer is. I don't know who a lot of these guys' trainers are. But to me, their workouts are fluff, man. They're not potent. They're not real workouts, man. They're not going to give you any real world strength, man, any functional kind of strength, man. And this is why a lot of these guys, these athletes of today, once again, they're soft and frail. Think about it, guys. Think about how much these guys break down. These guys in the NBA, let's just focus on the NBA basketball players, not athletes all across the board, but let's focus on the NBA athletes. These guys are always hurt. They're always out with minor injuries. They're not even injuries. They're just hurt. They're hurting. They're sore. They got mental problems now. These guys aren't tough, man. And once again, I doubt what they're doing. Are they even training? Are these guys training? I don't think they are. They're not doing anything right in the offseason. Whatever they're doing, it's not right. Because these guys are always out with nagging injuries, man. These minor things here and there that keeps these guys out. Now, we all know a lot of this is mental. They don't have the mental fortitude to push through a lot of this stuff. But if we focus on LeBron James and we think about some of the workouts that I've seen him do in the past, I'm not impressed with LeBron James' workouts. I'm not one bit impressed. Now, yes, LeBron James keeps himself in condition. I'm sure he has a personal chef. He's got his personal trainers. He's got massage therapists. He's got all kinds of stuff. Once again, these people have luxuries we couldn't even imagine, guys. We could not imagine the luxuries that someone like a LeBron James has and a lot of these players today have over the past eras. And this is what we're usually highlighting. We're letting you guys know that all the advantages of nutrition, medicine, the training, all these things that they have, these cryo chambers, these ice, uh, ice tubs, all the advancements that these guys have over the previous eras. For some reason, these guys today cannot play 82 games. They can't play a full season. It don't add up. How are these guys bigger, stronger, faster? And when I look at LeBron James and I watch the train that he does, it don't make any sense to me. You spend millions of dollars on your body, right? You spend millions of dollars. So where's the money going to? Are you paying your trainer millions of dollars? Or are you paying your, per paying your personal chef millions of dollars? Are you paying millions of dollars for that tonal machine that you advertise? Is that what you're using? Are you spending millions of dollars on a cryo chamber or some of these other things? I don't know where the money's going because once again, you don't have to spend millions of dollars to be in shape, to be fit. LeBron James pays for a lot of nonsense, a lot of fluff. And I wonder what else he's paying for. The chemicals, things of that nature. They're very expensive to pay for this stuff. So it all makes sense that he would be spending millions of dollars if he was doing these shady things that he's been accused of. 
But what bothers me the most about LeBron James and his fans, the people that support him in the media, they always support the longevity of LeBron James. But once again, it does not show up on the video footage. So, for instance, if LeBron James was in such great shape because he's training in the offseason, he's eating right, and he's doing all the treatment that Austin Reeves was telling us about in that interview, right? He has all this treatment on his body, spending all this money for this treatment to get himself prepared for every single game, for every single season. If that's the case, then why the hell can't this man play 82 games? I don't understand why that's a stretch, why that's a, a hard ask for people to expect LeBron James and some of these other superstar players to be showing up and lacing it up for 82 games. Now, once again, if you have an injury and you're injured, then you can't play. But I don't understand or know what injuries LeBron James has. So once again, this exposes LeBron James and a lot of these players. What significant injury has LeBron James had in his career? He's never had a significant injury. That's been what a lot of people have pointed to to prove and show that LeBron James has longevity. He's never been injured, LeBron James. He, every single season, he just keeps coming back. I wonder how he's doing this. How is he doing that? Well, quite simply, he's not playing any defense for years now. So you're lessening the wear and tear on your body, the exertion, the effort that you're giving. You're not playing defense like that. You're standing around. So that helps your longevity, doesn't it? And LeBron James continues to load manage in this era. Over the last 10 seasons, he's been load managing. The man's played 82 games one time in his career. One time. The man's played more. He's played uh, 55 games or less more in his career than he's played 82 games. Isn't that crazy? 55 or less games. More often, he's played 82 games in his career. But they want to tell LeBron James for his longevity. It does not add up. How can you spend all this money on your body, on your nutrition, on your physical condition, but yet every season you can't play the full season? You can't do it. You're not even giving the effort on both ends. So I would understand more so LeBron James playing 55, 60 games if he was going all out on defense, all out on the floor. Given that effort, I told you LeBron James should be playing about 25 minutes a game and given the max effort on both ends. That would be the best version for LeBron James for the Lakers. It don't matter about the stats, but that's the problem for LeBron James. He won't give up his stats. God forbid his stats were getting lower and lower over the last four or five years to win instead. No. So he won't take a back seat. The stats will not be lowered for LeBron James. He won't give that effort on defense. He won't sacrifice those offensive stats. Right? He's too worried that his stats are going to go down and that'll affect his legacy. He really believes his legacy is the stats. No one cares about your stats. Because once again, the stats are fraudulent. Because if we take it a step further and we think about the load managing, we think about standing around on defense, then we also have to think about this soft era of NBA. See, the eras that I grew up watching in the 80s and the 90s, once again, was obviously much more physical, so guys couldn't last as long. You're getting beat. You have more of an odds or more of a chance to get injured in that era of NBA. When you see Michael Jordan going going up for a layup or going up for a dunk attempt against the bad boy Pistons and they're trying to take his legs out, they're trying to cut him out from underneath him, trying to slam him to the ground, push him and pull him, all these things. You think that Michael Jordan doesn't have a, a greater chance of getting injured on those plays? And he never did. That's the crazy thing about Michael Jordan's durability. I'm always telling you guys, this man was taking a beating physically beating him on purpose. And the man kept getting up and coming back. They couldn't stop Michael Jordan. No matter what they did, no matter how they cheated the rules and manipulated the rules, no matter how many times they hit Michael Jordan after the whistle, he kept coming back, never got injured. That's a durability of Michael Jordan. He didn't rest on the defensive end. He didn't load manage. He showed up every single night to compete on both ends. This is why he's respected. LeBron James, do you guys ever remember hearing Michael Jordan brag about the millions of dollars he spent on his body? I never remember hearing anyone say this. All I remember is people saying Michael Jordan worked out to get stronger physically because of the beatings he was taking from the Pistons. So he exercised. He trained his body with the weights, the old-fashioned weight, right? He had a great trainer. And once again, Michael Jordan put the work in. He put the effort in. It was no fluff workouts. It was no no-nonsense. LeBron James, look at these workouts he's doing, these goofy exercises. What are they doing for him? They're doing literally nothing for him. To me, LeBron James' body is not impressive. To me, LeBron James is not strong. He's not. 
For someone that big, LeBron James should be a lot tougher. He should have a lot more grit, and he should be much stronger. LeBron James is not as strong as Michael Jordan, pound for pound. No way. Nothing LeBron James does is impressive strength-wise. What has he done? What feats of strength has LeBron James ever demonstrated? His workouts are fluff. He does workouts that you would see like a 40-year-old woman do in some BS class. Kettlebells on top of kettlebells, upside down on a BOSU ball? You look like a goof, man. And why has this dude got no clothes on? He got nothing on but some, some little tight shorts. Not impressed with LeBron James' workouts, and this is why LeBron James can't play 82 games. If LeBron James' workouts were really like that, if they were worth something, all the money he's spending on this stuff, where's, the, where's your return? You're only playing 45, 50 games to keep playing every season? So you put in all this work in the offseason, they'll be like, LeBron James spending all the time in the offseason, exercising, getting ready for the season. Then the season comes, here goes LeBron, LeBron James out with foot soreness. Out with foot soreness. Could you guys imagine Michael Jordan ever being out with foot soreness? Oh, LeBron James out. Uh, he's not feeling too good. LeBron James out for rest. They don't even, they don't, LeBron James doesn't even have to practice. He doesn't have to practice because he's old. He doesn't have to practice. Michael Jordan always practiced. That was the point. That was the thing about Michael Jordan. This is another reason why guys back in the day, they didn't play 20 seasons because they were out there giving it their all in practice and going out in the games and giving it their all, getting beat up physically. Michael Jordan, to me, is the greatest practice player of all time. Not only the greatest player of all time, but the greatest practice player of all time. He took practice serious. A lot of NBA players don't take practice as serious as Michael Jordan did. Now LeBron James, he don't even practice now. He has to save himself for the regular season. So during the season, oh, LeBron James, he don't have to practice. Why should LeBron James practice? Why should LeBron James practice? Because the man can't shoot free throws 21 years later. That's why he should be practicing. The man still turns a ball over three and a half times a game. His entire career never changed one bit. Never worked on his dribbling. What handle does LeBron James have, guys? I ask you this all the time. What dribbling moves does LeBron James have? None. No handle. No jump shot. Still hasn't learned to play in an actual system. Don't play no defense. Still got no leadership. That's a skill you could work on. LeBron James ain't work on leadership skills. He's too busy making excuses, playing the victim. That's LeBron James. That's his fans. So I'm not impressed with LeBron James and the workouts that he does for that longevity. The minutes he spends, where is it going? I don't know where it's going. I tell you guys on my channel, man, I do fitness and do workouts. My stuff is all cheap or it's free. And I'm in just as great of shape as I've ever been. Not saying I'm in LeBron James shape or I'm a professional athlete. What I'm saying to you is that you could get into great shape without spending millions. They try to make it seem like LeBron James is spending some crazy amount of money and that he's the only one doing this. There are other guys spending money on their bodies and their nutrition as well. LeBron James is doing a lot of other things, guys, that they don't want to talk about, right? They don't want to talk about these things that LeBron James is doing. You don't need fancy equipment. You don't need to spend all this money. You got to put the work in. That's all it's about. And these fluff workouts LeBron James is doing, you think LeBron James is really using a tonal machine to stay in shape? The tonal machine? He's doing these fluff workouts that I'm not impressed with. Once again, this is why LeBron James can't play all the games. This is why LeBron James can't give the effort on both ends. If he was in that great of shape and doing all this crazy stuff that no one else was doing, then he would be playing both sides of the ball for 82 games for 21 seasons. And then we would all be like, damn, this dude is playing all these games, giving the effort on both sides of the ball, going crazy for 21 years. We would be impressed. What is going to be impressed about here? I'm not impressed with LeBron James' quote-unquote longevity. I'm not impressed with LeBron James' workouts. Not impressed at all. Le to me, LeBron James is not strong. He's not strong. For someone that big, he's weak to me. This is why he's flopping all over the place. This is why LeBron James will, won't even get touched. And you'll see this man go flying around. Won't even get touched on, a, on an instant replay. No one touched LeBron James. But there he goes, flying off into the stands. But he's supposed to be strong? No, he's not. not not at all. Playing against a soft era of NBA. All soft guys, right? All no touching. No physicality, which helps LeBron James last longer, play longer. The guys in the 80s and the 90s, like I said, if you played 14, 15, 16, 17 years, that was impressive. Especially, I said, if you were a guy that was playing and you're banging 
and you're taking those punish, taking that punishment. Like I said, they didn't have the advancements of medicine and nutrition and all these other advantages that these guys have today. The game was tougher. The schedule was tougher. These guys said, hey, they got all these days off. Think about all the days that the Lakers had this year. LeBron James Lakers, I believe at one point they had like seven days off in the middle of the season. That wasn't an all-star break. They had like six days off. Right? They don't do the, the back-to-backs as much. The three games and four nights. They don't do that as much now. These Everything is spread out for these guys. They got luxury travel. Everything is easier for them. But yet these guys don't last. They can't play every game. They can't show up to work. They get mad at a minimum now. This is why they had to put a minimum out on these guys. Because they weren't shown to work. And LeBron James one of the culprits of this. But he spends men's on his body. They always told you about LeBron James. They never tell anybody else. Right? Do they talk about anybody else work out? No. Was LeBron James working out like Jerry Rice was? You guys remember Jerry Rice and his legendary workouts? How about Walter Payton and that hill he used to run up? This is what Walter Payton did to get in shape. Much, no doubt it's a different sport. No doubt about it. But once again, it's the, it's, the, it's the mind. It's the effort. It's the work ethic. What these guys were doing, running up these hills, preparing themselves. This is why Jerry Rice had true longevity in a sport where you took physical beatings Jerry Rice played in the 80s and the 90s, man, of the NFL, where guys could rock you. There was no protection for receivers when Jerry Rice was playing, but yet Jerry Rice had true longevity. This man showed up and showed out every single season because he put that work in in the offseason. He wasn't doing those fluff workouts like LeBron James is doing. Walter Payton, same thing. Grinding out in the offseason, preparing his body, doing legit workouts. These guys were grown men. They were tough. They had heart and grit. LeBron James ain't got no grit. He got no toughness, man. He ain't got no heart. So all those fluff workouts he does, all that money he spends, it's not well spent. LeBron James, pay me the millions of dollars. Whatever you're paying your trainer, pay me and I'll train you, man. I don't know what the hell they got you doing out there. But once again, it ain't ain't showing up on the court, man. It ain't showing up. Let me know when LeBron James can play 82 games for consecutive seasons. Consecutive seasons. Michael Jordan, guys, during a second three-peat. Michael Jordan, during a second three-peat, right? 96, 97, 98. Played all 82 games every season. We know that, right? And played every postseason game, right? Michael Jordan played 304 consecutive games. 304. Never miss a single game. 304 consecutive games, guys. Giving the effort on both ends. First team all defense. First team all NBA. LeBron James ain't sniffed that in years. This is what Michael Jordan was doing at the, at the advanced age of 33, 34, and 35 years old. Both sides of the ball, guys. While winning championships. While winning finals MVPs. While winning MVPs. In his mid-30s. LeBron James has never sniffed an MVP in his 30s. Has never made an all defensive team in his 30s. But they want to talk to you about his longevity. Michael Jordan played 304 consecutive games between the regular season and the postseason, guys. 304 consecutive in a physical era. Where he was the main guy on the offensive, uh, offensive end, carrying his team on offense. Playing with guys like Scottie Pippen, Ron Harper, and Dennis Rodman. All three guys can't score worth a lick. At that point in their careers, they were not scorers. Ron Harper, at that point in his career, was nowhere near a score anymore. These guys, maybe, maybe could give you a little something on the offensive end. Scottie Pippen, not as consistent. Dennis Rodman, he give you nothing on the offensive end. Ron Harper, Luke Longley, that was the starting lineup that Michael Jordan was winning with. That's carrying your team on offense. Leading them. Playing all the games. Giving all the effort. Not load managing. Not cheating the fans. Not cheating the game. LeBron James cheating the game. All this money he spends, it ain't doing nothing for him. I don't respect his workouts. His workouts are a joke. Look at these things, man. He's a goof out there. Michael Jordan was lifting weights. Pumping the iron. LeBron James over here on Bosu balls and yoga mats. Doing his weird stuff, man. That's why it don't add up. It ain't translating, man. One time in 82 years. (laughs) One time in 21 seasons, you play 82 games. One time. Once again, it's... See, this is the thing, guys, when we talk about the A2 games, and, and I know this video is going kind of long, but this is the thing about the A2 games. 
you know, sometimes people will say things like, oh, well, other players or, or this player didn't play eight, never played 82 games or this player never played 82 games. And yes, there have been many superstars in NBA history. Like I believe Magic Johnson never played 82 games. But the facts remain, once again, no one ever bragged about Magic Johnson and the effort and the money he was putting into his body in the offseason. No one ever said, hey, Magic Johnson's a workout machine. He's in the offseason spending millions of dollars on his body. This man's going to be... No one ever bragged about these things. These players worked on their games in the offseason. Worked on their games. Once again, they didn't have the advantages of, of medicine. They didn't have the knowledge, the training, all of these things, the advantages, the advantages they have now. Those guys worked on their games. So when you point out, oh, this player didn't play 82 games or that player only played 82 games one time or this player only played 82 games this many times, the facts remain. First, a lot of those players played in a much more physical era, which is why playing 82 games was a lot harder for those guys. But the facts remain. These guys tried to play 82 games. It's about the one to They tried to play the 82 games. So maybe they only played 80. Maybe they played 79. Maybe they played 78. But they gave the effort. They wanted to play those games. They didn't stand around on defense and walk around and lollygag. They didn't load manage. They didn't do these things. I told you, if these guys missed games, there was an actual injury they were dealing with. There was something going on. They didn't take mental breaks. They didn't take rest days. There's a difference here. You can't talk about LeBron James' longevity. You can't brag about how much money he spent on his body. But at the same time, this man can never play 80, 82 games. You, it can't be both ways. It can't be celebrated. It's not John Stockton. It's not A.C. Green or Robert Parrish. Some of these guys, man, that were playing every single year in physical eras. They just kept coming back. No one bragged about what they did and how much money they spent in their bodies. Once again, LeBron James too focused on his body, his physicality, than he is on his game. And why is that? It exposes this error because LeBron James doesn't need skills in this error. All he needs is his physicality because LeBron James is allowed to use his physicality. But once again, guys, no one else is allowed to use their physicality against LeBron James or he's flopping, crying, and it's why his team gets five, plus 500 free throws. You guys know the deal, man. LeBron James working to a joke. They're fluff. Spending millions on his, on his body, man. But he ain't showing up on the games. It's out with sore feet, sore ankles, rest, all this stuff. More excuses. It's all smoke screens and mirrors, I told you guys. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.